I'm gonna take, and this is what I tell the students, you take about a hand length of reed, your hand, no, it doesn't have to be my hand, um, and you're gonna just go back on top of where your reeds are. Now, I'm sure there's some basket weaver somewhere in the world who knows this is not the way that you should start or end reeds, but again, teaching students for a long time, and I've taught students from like th third or fourth grade up how to basket weave like this. This is just the tips and tricks that I have found that make the most sense to the kids and to me teaching. Um, and so I'm gonna kind of hold these down with my fingers on this side um, and then continue. And so when I get around, um, it'll pin it again and it kind of does go up. It tends to just want to pop up the first time because this is the only time you should see two reeds on top of each other and not in every other. And that's going to be for those three or four reeds that you went backwards. Um, 